स्टूडेंटिस वेलकम टू कोड बैशर्स गाइज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द लेट लेटेस्ट कोडिंग क्वेश्चन विच वर आज इन द एक्सेंचर ऑन कैंपस हायरिंग ओके सो दीज कोडिंग क्वेश्चन वर आज ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर सो सो गाइज टोटल टू कोडिंग क्वेश्चन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर वॉचिंग दिस टूट टिल द एंड एंड ऑल द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू एनी एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चन और एनी कोडिंग क्वेश्चन प्रीवियसली आई हैव मेड in this particular playlist of accenture ultimate aptitude coding preparation if you will look at this playlist you will find that okay 12th august 13th august 14th august 16th 20th 21st august and today 23rd also i am covering all the coding questions whichever they are asking in the on campus drive okay so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and guys in some of the companies or in some of the colleges accenture has started the interview process also so if you are preparing for the interviews and you don't know where to prepare for so uh, we have our top mate page okay there important interview it subject notes are present in these particular notes total 12 subjects we are covering c++ java python dbms etc etc okay this these notes are specific for interview preparation and in for every subject we have a dedicated pdf in that pdf there are around 20 to 25 questions with their answers and with their code snippet also so if you want if you know uh, if you want to do your last minute preparation then these notes will be very much beneficial for you the links of these notes i will give you in the description box okay and it is at a very nominal pri price of rupees 99 the links will find in the description box and in the pinned comment so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please do two things hit that like and subscribe button and do join the telegram group also the links will find in the description box so guys now let's start the video guys total two coding questions i will be discussing and both are on the easier side only so first question is charles is given an array a he wants to find the count of occurrences of the second largest element in the array your task is to help him find and return an integer value representing the count of the occurrence of the second largest element in the array note if the array contains same element then return zero that this will we'll see next note is the array has only consecutive elements that is in sorted order so the question is very simple you will be given an input array first of all you have to find that what is the second largest element in that array and then you need to find the occurrences of that second largest element in that array is it that simple so let's just see with the help of example so we are given an input this okay and we know that input is in the sorted order as it is given in the question only so this is the input in the sorted order okay so you can see here 5 5 5 and then 4 so what is the second largest element largest element is 5 the second largest element is 4 and how many times 4 is occurring that is how many times the second largest element is occurring it is occurring two times so therefore the output is 2 it's that simple let us move towards the next example and the base case will be clear to you the array input length is 1 the element is only one only so see here in the note it is given if the array contains same element let's suppose now there were 3 4 5 five elements present in the array and all were 5 only so in this case what should be the output it will be zero because see all the five elements are same there is no second largest element there is only single largest element and all the elements are same so therefore no second largest element is present here therefore the answer is zero okay so i hope this thing is clear to you now i let just quickly move towards the approach so approach will be very much simple the first thing is to find the second largest element and then we will find that occurrence now how to find the second largest element it's see how to find the second largest element so see we know that the input array is sorted in nature we know that input array is sorted in nature it means that the last element of the array will always be the highest element okay i hope it's clear to you since the input array is sorted in nature therefore the last element of the array will always be the highest element now is it possible is it obvious that the second last element will be the second largest element no because that large last element is the largest but that lar large element can also repeat itself so what we will do we will iterate over the array from backward that is the second last index on last index always the highest element will be present that is guarantee but on the second last index what we will do we will start iterating the array from that index till the zero zeroth index and we will check this element with the next element so 
करंट एलिमेंट इज फाइव नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट इज ऑल्सो फाइव ओनली सो करंट एलिमेंट इज फाइव नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट इज ऑल्सो फाइव सो इज करंट एलिमेंट लेस देन नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट सो आंसर इज नो ओके वी विल मूव सिंपली विल मूव हेयर नाउ अगेन विल चेक इज द करंट एलिमेंट लेस देन द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट ओके इज द करंट एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट देन दस देन द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट आंसर इज नो सो वी विल सिंपली मूव अहेड नाउ वी विल चेक वेदर द करंट एलिमेंट is less than the next element so current element is 4 next element is 5 so this condition is satisfied so the first so whenever this first time this condition came that if the current element is less than the next element it means that the current element is the second largest element we will simply break the loop from here so here the second largest element will come out to be 4 and we will just break the loop and we will not move ahead okay so again i'm telling you we will start from the second last index we will move towards zero we will move towards zero but wherever at the first index wherever at the first place the condition current element less than the next element arises there only we have found our second largest element and we have breaked out from the loop now after this loop is over after this breaking is done we have second largest element as 4 now what we'll do we have to find the occurrence of this second largest element we will simply again iterate the array and we will check whether the current element is the second largest element or not if it is we will simply simply increment the count to count to 1 okay and so on so initially count is 0 so we have found the second largest element so what we'll do we will iterate the iterate over this array okay so the coding part will be very simple that it's just the approach that is taking time okay so current element is equal is it second largest element no next element is it second largest element no third element is it second largest no next is yes it is the second largest so we'll count to 1 then we'll move ahead and we will count to again we will increment the count so is this current element second largest element yes it is so we'll move to count to 2 next we'll move ahead and similarly we'll move out of the loop and after this we will simply return the count of it now i hope the approach was also very simple let us quickly try to implement this approach in the code so for uh, simplicity i have already written the code now guys many of you are confused sir whether we have to write the function or whether we have to write the input output also so uh, both things are possible in some cases i can i have uh, heard from students that only the function you have to implement and in some cases you have to take input and output also so let me just tell you how to take input and output also so i am writing in c++ but you can write in any language so first of all it is the main function we are taking the length of the array as input then we are taking the array itself as input and we are simply passing to our helper function that we are we will be making so we have passing to the helper function now in this helper function we have two inputs int n and array of v so if our input array size is 0 then there is no element present so simply return 0 only okay and one more thing it is uh, one thing i forgot to mention yeah so if the array contains same element then return 0 because there is no second largest element simply so what we'll do first of all we have to find the second last element so we will initialize this second last element with zero only because if it we are not able to find it we will simply return it okay next what we are doing so for uh, what we are doing now we will be iterating from second last index till the zeroth index and we will do i minus minus and we will check if the current element is less than sorry is less than the next element if the current element is less than the next element what we'll do we have found the second last element second last element is equal to the current element and we will simply break from the loop because this is the condition we need to satisfy for the first time only while iterating the array now we have found the second largest second last element after this loop int occurrence will be zero that how many times it is uh, uh, coming inside this array now we will iterate the array again and every element we will compare with the second last element if it is done then we will do occurrence plus plus and we are returning occurrence that it is just that, that simple because we know that our input array will always be sorted in nature so let's just see with the help of an example so this is the input array here 6 is the largest uh, second largest element and in uh, and occurrence is 2 so we'll, occurrence should be 2 here let's just see okay so yeah occurrence is 2 let's just now see if all the elements are same 2 is the size of the array and all the elements are same only so in this case what should be the output it should be 0 because there is no second largest element present here and then we will see one more example also so this one yeah let me just copy paste it so yeah here for it it is coming as zero and let's just see for this one it should give us two only this is the input two it should give us yeah it is giving two 
so i hope this particular question is clear to you it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you okay so now let's just move towards the second question okay so guys now let's just see the question two but before moving ahead two things i want to remind you first of all on our top mate page we have important interview it subject notes okay so total 12 subjects we are covering we know that in some colleges accenture has started taking the interview process also so if you are preparing for your interviews then these notes can be beneficial for you 12 subjects we are covering for every subject there are around to 20 to 25 questions which are very important and we have given you the question the answer and the code snippet also wherever possible okay these notes will help you in last minute preparation these are at a very nominal price of rupees 99 if you are interested in these notes the links you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and the second thing is that if you have not hit that like and subscribe button till now please do it because lot of interview experiences also regarding accenture i will be posting on this channel so guys now let's move towards the second part second question so given a string and two characters c uh, character 1 and character 2 as input again this question is at a very easy level replace all occurrences of character 1 with character 2 and character 2 with character 1 in the input string okay this is the question let's just see the example so input 1 is apple is the input string character 1 is a character 2 is p it means that character 1 so wherever in the input string character 1 is coming it should be replaced by character 2 and wherever in the input string character 2 is coming it should be replaced by character 1 so apples so a should be replaced by p and p should be replaced by a so what will be the output so a is replaced by p and p are replaced by a and rest all remain same so this will be the output comment yeah let's just see with the help of another example so input is code bashers c should be replaced by b and b should be replaced by c in the input string so c we have replaced by b here and b we have replaced by c here keeping all the things same rest all things same so this was that easy now i am not, not telling you the pros i will just take you towards the code only that <coughs> I have already written so again this is the I will also tell you the input and output also so string uh, str first of all input string will be taken then uh, we will be taking the character also so, so uh, sorry char ch1 ch2 okay so c in ch1 okay c in ch2 and we have taken string and character 1 character 2 as input and we are passing it to the helper function so ch1 ch2 okay now this is the helper function that we need to implement okay so here we have str as input ch1 and ch2 as input and we have to return the modified string first of all if the string is null this is the base case re simply return str only next thing is iterate over the string iterate over the string if the current character if the current character is ch1 then update that character to ch2 if else else if, if the current character is ch2 then update that character to ch1 okay this is that simple again i am telling you just iterate over the loop if the current character is ch1 then update it to uh, ch2 if the current character is ch2 then update it to ch1 and after the loop is completed simply return str from here okay let us take the in input so apples i have told you a will be replaced by p and p will be replaced by a let's just run it so it should be i think papples pa pals something like that so okay so there is some issue that is coming so str is double equal into null uh str let me just see so guys instead of null we will be compa comparing the length of the string with zero okay so now you can see that apples a and p are replaced and it will become p double a l e s so this is the desired output so yeah so let me just uh, let's just see another example so code bachelors i have told you and c and b are replaced so only c and b will be replaced okay so yeah b and c have been replaced so i hope now this question is clear to you and both the questions discussed in this video are both very easy and uh, do hit that like and subscribe button because if you are finding these videos informative and do write in the comment section that yes sir we want more such videos and we want this company videos also i will be happy to make it and if you are preparing for interviews for the accenture or any other company then these particular notes can be helpful for you for your last minute preparation okay so these are at a very nominal price of rupees 99 the links of buying are in the description box thank you for watching this video